Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a shave with Moon Soap today and the soap scent is old school. And I can tell you right now, I love this scent. It's a sweet, powdery, it's almost gourmand. Now, obviously old school, it maybe makes you think sort of barbershop. For me, it's not pure barbershop. There's a little bit sort of barbershop going on with the powdery notes, but it's sweet. It's delicate, it's almost got a light floral running through it. I'm not quite sure what the scent notes are, but it's very, very nice. I think there's a little bit of wood, or maybe even a bit of cigar or something in here, a bit of tobacco. But it's a really, really nice scent. It sits around about a four to a five in scent strength, which is pretty much spot on for me. Generally anything below a three or a four, and I'm sort of struggling. I, I like to be able to smell the soap. The brush for today is the Grey Dog 28mm Magard Plus Soft, I think it is. So as you can see, Beautiful, massive, bald knot, massive, and it feels great. And obviously, this is some of Grey Dog's best work, in my opinion. It's absolutely beautiful. This piece of wood, coca boulder wood, stunning. Top, top, look for sending them over. I've got three of these brushes. Uh, I love them all for for their own reasons. One, two, three. I think three. So here we go, straight into the soap with a sort of damp brush. Gonna dip the tips. Now this soap is exceptional soap. It's one of the best soap bases that I've used. It is absolutely exquisite. One thing I like about Moon Soap is that even though this soap base is exquisite, the soap base for Havana, which is the other soap that I have from them, I think that's the only two soap scents that they do at the moment. It's a completely different soap base and they're both exceptional soap bases. Quite a firm soap, so if you like a firmer soap over a sort of crop or a cream, then this stuff's really top draw. It lathers easy, it loads easy, it's slick, it's protective, the post shave's awesome. And believe it or not, it'd be one of the very few artisans out there that renders his own towel from the cow, from the beef. So that there's not many guys out there, I would believe, in the wet shaving space that actually render their own tallow. I'm just gonna wet my face. I've just had a shower. I'm gonna scoop out the excess from the tub as best I can. Not yet getting all that out, beautiful. I thought I would have struggled there, but I haven't. And you can see how thick that is already. Now, Moon Soap is actually a company run by a, a lady named Melody Kent. It's a lovely name, Melody. I like that name. Melody Kent and her husband, Zach, is the guy that makes shaving soap. And his wife, Melody, didn't actually want to make any shaving soap because she was doing well with her bath soaps and her hand soaps and facial soaps and lip balms and all that sort of stuff. So he decided to sort of give it a crack himself. Now, Zach owns a design firm as well, so he designs all the labels, but he also, it's his own business as well, so he designs for other people. So all I'm doing here is painting water into the load. This ladder's gonna be phenomenal. I can tell already. Now this is a cold water shave. With a little bit of prep, obviously I'll just come out of the shower. So all I'm looking for here, for you guys that have never watched the channel before, is I'm looking for the soap to go translucent all over. So to look like that all over my face, no matter where I paint the brush, it goes translucent. Probably one more dip. Now 
somebody. So it doesn't look like much, but all you do is just splay the brush and wet the ladder. And you'll pretty much get your ladder finished off without having to dip the brush again. It's a very, very effective way of getting a voluminous, creamy, glossy ladder without having to really get a perfect amount of water and it just seems to work for me. I'm not saying this is going to work for everyone, but certainly it'll work for most. And if you've been struggling getting a ladder in the first place, then anything's worth a try. This already needs a dip of water. Very, very thirsty soap. Just for my money, can't beat the ease of lathering from a synthetic brush. I enjoy natural hair brushes in, in a, the grander scheme of things, even though animals, especially like badgers and boar and stuff, are killed to make badger brushes and boar brushes, technically they're, they're better for the environment in a sense. Right, I've got the carb razor with the 3.5 inch handle and this has got the B plate on here. I just wanted a slightly milder shave today and I'm just sticking with the super thin again. So this is shave number six on the super thin. It's done four face shaves and one head shave and it's an astounding little blade, really impressed with it. So here we go. I've got less than 24 hours growth. I've been getting some good feedback from the, the new camera as well, apparently it's coming across really well. I have watched it back myself now and I've got to say I'm quite impressed with the quality of the camera, considering this is a front facing camera on the iPhone. Massive difference. It's, if anything, oh, this is so slick. <laughs> Better quality than the rear facing camera on the iPhone 7. Oh, it's so slick, I nearly dropped my cup of coffee. Wow. My favourite cup as well. It's really slick soap. Just glides. Right, I just wet my face again. Let's apply the lather again.
Yeah, there's a saying over here, too easy. And this is really too easy, this soap. It's exceptional soap. That was a bit echoey there. I heard the echo myself. <laughs> right, cross the grain. Super slick. Right, see if I can get a drink of coffee this time without nearly dropping the glass. See if we can make this grow again. Absolutely sensational soap. Now Zach, who makes the soap, is also moving into brush making. He's started making some brushes. They've been up for sale on the Moon Soaps website. Sort of wood acrylic hybrids, really nice brushes he makes. Wow. I don't know if I've said it before, I'm pretty sure I have, but the Gillette Super Thin Blade, what an incredible razor. The blade itself, I mean, I think there is actually a Gillette Super Thin Razor as well. One of those sort of cheap, cheap plastic nasty ones. Like. 
that was simply sensational absolutely incredible just going to rinse the brush out now now with these 28mm Magard knots they hold a shit ton of lather they actually take a little while to clean out so make sure you spend the time and actually get the silk from deep out of the knot and actually get it all out of there because otherwise it'll, it may cause you problems later on it can also cause the hairs in your knot to start sort of splitting away and looking a little bit shitty from the top what you want. So it's a little bit, you can see it's just a little bit sort of splayed in the middle. What I do then is I give the handle a dry and I just give it a flick on the towel. You can probably just see there what I do. I just use the tips of the knot and I just flick it back and forth quite vigorously. I'm not pushing hard on the towel, I'm just letting the tips touch it. And what happens is it draws a little bit more moisture out from the bottom of the knot as you're flicking it backwards and forwards and you end up with your knot pretty much exactly as it was to begin with. Set it to the side to dry. I dry all my brushes like that. I leave them to dry. My theory being that evaporation goes up the way. If you hang a knot like that, it'll evaporate upwards into the knot. That's just my thought process on it. it evaporation doesn't go down. So as much as the, the hangers are good for getting rid of the, the water that they would actually fall, it would sort of move its way down through the knot and drip off. The moisture that's deep in the base of the knot where the glue bump is just in my head just doesn't make sense to hang it upside down because as it's drying it's just going back up to where it's trying to escape from and it'll just stay wet all the time that's my thought process i'm not saying that's what happens but it's just the way my mind works sometimes so i do prefer to just leave the knot out give it as much of a dry as i can flick out all the water leave it not up and allow evaporation to take place and actually let the moisture escape out as it should do. Okay, so I'm going to finish off now. Let me have a bit of a feel. Poor shave's lovely. Really good. I've overshaved my chin a little bit there. I can feel it. I can even see it's a little bit red. But overall, a stunning shave. Moil Grooming Marlowe Wood, all the way from Canada. Now, this one's not mentholated, sadly. Three splashes of that. And Sean Mullen over in Canada has really packed up a lot of punch in this woody one. This scent does linger a little bit, so it, it, you sort of really need to wear it as its own scent. See that flickering there as it's trying to catch the light again. <laughs> it's quite, it's a really bright bathroom. So the camera's doing really well to actually suck the light out and actually make me more presentable, which sadly you guys have to put on with. Excuse me. So for today it was Moon Soaps, Old School, Shave Soap. Tallow, well, tallow shave soap, six ounces. It's not the cheapest of soap, but it's not the most expensive. I think it's about 15 bucks or something, I think, for a tub. It's pretty hard, so it's gonna last a while. It smells great, it performs better than it smells. It performs in the upper echelons of shaving soap. It's really up there with the best, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, holy cow, holy cow, even though it's cold, but holy cow. Yeah, Ariana and Evans, your grooming department, your barrister and man, Sterling's, Wickham's. Lather Bros, all of those, it's up there with all of them and all the rest of them as well, Talon Steel, you know, the list is absolutely endless. And ultimately most of these soaps now perform on a very, very level playing field and it's all about what scent you prefer, what label you prefer, uh, what company you prefer, how they operate. Some soaps react with my skin like K-Shave works, amazing soaps, but they react to my skin. I always recommend them because they won't react to everyone's skin and the scents are outstanding. But just things like that so it's whatever soap suits you find the company that suits you find the soap that suits you generally when you find a soap that doesn't react to your skin most other products from that company won't react to your skin the only company i would say that differs from that would be razor rock and that's mainly going back to the little white tubs that they used to do nearly every one of them reacts to my skin whereas all the newer sort of black tubs you know like stallion and all those ones absolutely fine no issues so performing per performing Shit hot performing soap from a really nice company, lovely people. 
over in the States. The brush was this absolutely stunning Coco Bolo wood, handcrafted, handmade brush from Grey Dog, and I got a 28 mil Maya plus soft in you. And this knot is really, really nice. It's a really dense knot as well. When you give it a good squeeze, it's pretty dense. Very soft tips, shit tons of backbone. It's got lovely scrub, absolutely zero scritch or scratch. It's an exceptional knot and 28 mil. It takes a bit more soap, but it creates a phenomenal lather. The carved Christopher Bradley razor with the B plate on here today and a fifth use, sixth use, sorry, on the Gillette Super Thin Blade. One head shade and now five face shaves and it is still silky smooth and sharp. Really, really impressed. I've got a few little, these are actually little spots. And I believe it or not that one of them was ingrown or two of them were ingrown from this blade because it's so sharp. I've had to sort of learn to be a little bit gentler with it because it's just cutting me so close. I'm ending up with little ingrowns as well. So it's not technique, but it sort of is technique, but the blade is so sharp and smooth that I'm pushing a little bit harder than normal. And I think that's what's causing me the issues. Finished off today with Marlowe Wood from Moyle Grooming in Canada, out of Ontario in Canada. I think it's Ontario, yeah, Ontario in Canada. Top, top performing splash. That is wonderful stuff for your skin. If you suffer from red spots, red marks, stretch marks, anything on your face or neck or skin, I highly, highly recommend this stuff. It has changed my skin drastically since I started using it. I mean, it looks a little bit red because I've just shaved. But generally I've got really red lines and stuff over my neck and since I've been using this, they're all gone, pretty much gone. I can see them every now and then when the light reflects off the scars from the stretch marks. But other than that, it has done a magical job of fixing my skin. And that's me done and dusty guys. I'm going to have a little drink of coffee. And you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next shave. Cheers.